hello and welcome to another beauty box unboxing now this time it's a Marc box and it's by Marks and Spencer and it's their beauty discovery box it costs 20 pounds 25 pounds but you can get five pounds off if you are a sparks card holder because at the moment they're doing 20 percent off on beauty products so i managed to get this one for 20 pounds now the contents are worth 90 pounds delivery charges may apply but you can collect from for free from a store if you have one near you the box says beauty's best kept secret on the front there isn't a card with it so i had to go to the various websites to get the information and there are nine products in total and it is a mix of marks and spencer products and other brand names so i've already unboxed the contents and that's kind of the box that it comes in so let's get on with seeing what's in there and the first one is a Marks and Spencer brand one and it is the apothecary range and this is the revived nourishing cleansing butter it's 50 grams you can get 125 grams for £12.50 so this is probably worth around about £5 maybe a bit more than that and they say give your skin a rejuvenated glow with this cleansing balm from our apothecary range with its aromatherapeutic blend of essential oils of eucalyptus, lavender, lemongrass and sandalwood, this butter soft balm will leave skin feeling nourished and with a light scent. It deeply cleanses to remove all traces of makeup, including waterproof formulas. So they suggest to use this in a sort of an aromatherapy kind of way. So with clean and dry hands, massage a small amount of it onto your skin, soak a muslin cloth in warm water, place over your fa face for up to a minute, take some deep breaths and then use the cloth to wash away the cleanser. So I have used this and I'll show you what it looks like because at first it looks quite a solid little thing, see? So when you actually put your finger into it, you think, oh, it's going to be quite tough, but it's not. It literally melts on contact. See? It's very lovely to go into the skin. It feels a little bit grainy at first, but these sort of massage out. And as you can see, look at that texture. When you're actually using it, it does feel really luxurious and lovely. I really do like it. Look at that. It's like melted butter and what it does do is it does do what it says it takes off your makeup including waterproof and yeah it's a lovely thing now it does mention eucalyptus in there but i can't smell that thankfully because i don't like it i could get the lavender and i could actually get the lemongrass it's quite a strong sort of lemony background to it it is really lovely it is a nighttime smell even with the lemongrass um it's a relaxing one so I really, really like this product. Look how, I mean, that is amazing. It's like almost dripping off me. It doesn't feel oily in that sense that butter would, obviously. Um, it feels lovely on the skin and the skin feels great afterwards. Now, I am going to have to pause because I'm just going to have to pause. In fact, I've just got some of that on this hand, which I didn't mean to do because I've got to press the pause button now. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so the next product is actually another cleanser this one is by Eve Long and it's the foaming cream cleanser this is 20 mils 120 mils is 45 pounds and this is probably worth between about seven and eight pounds they say renewal starts with the perfect cleanse a hydrating enzyme infused foaming cleanser uses the power of water to activate an innovative cream to foam lava which delicately wipes away makeup and impurities without drying skin or clogging the pores and this does say its skin is left uh, clean refreshed and radiant looking and it's softly fragranced with aromatic natural oils soothes dry skin and nourishes to promote overall skin health and to use this you wet your hands and you apply the cleanser to damp skin working the cream into a foamy lava before gently massaging in with circular motions and then you rinse with warm water and pat dry so i did use this as my second cleanser to the balm and it, they went really really well together i'll show you what it looks like but to be honest it just looks like a cream when you put it at, when you first use it and as they say you have to work it with water into that sort of foam it does take a fair bit of water i found to make a really nice lava 
but it does get there eventually and it is lovely on the skin now this one again there's a lemony smell to it but it's a very gentle lemon it smells like lemon sponge with cream because there's a creamy smell to it as well oh it is really lovely those two smells together they go very very well those products i'm really pleased to get them normally i'd be a bit annoyed getting two cleansers in a box but because i do a two-part cleanser they're perfect both of them are formulated for removing makeup so on makeup days they are brilliant it got all my makeup off including my waterproof mascara um, that i was wearing so yeah very very happy with those two i hate to say this but i think i'm gonna have to pause again just to go and wash this off so i'm sorry about that but i will be back in a second one thing I meant to say was that my skin felt really lovely after using that. Not just clean, but it did feel really soft and nice too. So great products together. Okay, the next item. Now, I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand name, so apologies if I get it wrong. But I would say Lumen. And it's the Lumen Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence with Vitamin C and Arctic Cloudberry. This is 30 mils and available on Marks and Spencer's website for £33. And they say a super concentrated serum for brighter looking, intensely hydrated skin containing the unique Nordic Sea Radiance Enhancing and Energising Technology with berry extract from antioxidant rich wild Arctic cloudberry and vitamin C, along with pure Arctic spring water and two types of hyaluronic acid. The hydrating formula works to promote the appearance of more youthful looking skin that feels plumper, smoother and looks more radiant. And to use this, you apply to face and neck after cleansing. Gosh, that felt like I had a lot to say there without taking a breath and I felt really out of breath suddenly there. Oh, OK, I need to learn how to breathe while speaking, I think. OK, let's have a look at what this looks like. It's in a really nice bottle, actually. I love the packaging on this beautiful colour. Um, and it's a little pipetti style application. Now the thing about this is a little goes an awful long way. So, there you see that? That just, it's, I don't know whether it's the hyaluronic acid in it or something, but literally that tiny amount, I think I could do the whole of my arm with that. I couldn't believe it when I tried it the first time. I put a fair bit more on my um, hands because that's what I'm used to using. And it just, there was too much of it. Really interesting product. My face did feel really nice afterwards too. The smell of it, have to mention the smell. It's really orangey, but it's adorable orange smell. It's, it's beautiful. It is one of the nicest. I mean, I often say that about the vitamin C ranges because most of them smell of orange, don't they? And orange is one of my favourite smells. But this one's gorgeous, gorgeous. If that was a scent, I'd wear it. OK, very happy with that one. Next item is by Wren. Now, this is another serum. So it's like a little theme here. Two cleansers, then kind of two serums. That one I would use in the morning, personally, vitamin C. This one I would probably use more at night, which is a, um, it's by Wren, and it's their Bioretinoid Youth Serum. So this is a sample size, I think. It kind of says sample on the packaging somewhere. And I'm not entirely sure what amount it is. I'm guessing it's around about five mils. I'm not sure. Marks and Spencer have got 30 mils of this for £62 on their website. So even if this is a small sort of size, it's probably worth around £10. Now I'll show you the packaging because I did have a little bit of trouble with the packaging at first. So this is what it looks like in this little metallic tube. And this is how it came. It came with, I don't know whether you'll be able to see, that lid there was on top of there. I spent about 10 minutes trying to screw it off, trying to pull it off, then read the box which said you have to, now what did it say? It said you had to break it off and it was reusable lid or something, so you basically broke it off like that and then put the pointy end back in the top. 
back to reading. I always tell people off for not reading instructions in my house and then there was me not doing it either. Never mind, it was later at night, I have to say. Okay, so they say powered by a plant-derived alternative to retinol, Beedon's Pelosa, this improves visible roughness, elasticity and firmness. Ceramides help to improve skin barrier function and niacinamide works to brighten and even skin tone. Dermatologically tested and suitable for sensitive skin. And it says it's clinically proven to reduce fine lines and wrinkles after seven days. You can use it, it says morning and night, apply to fresh, freshly cleaned skin, massage onto the skin until fully absorbed. So with this one, I've used, this is a plant-based sort of retinol treatment or retinoid treatment. And because it says it's for sensitive skin, I thought, well, that's quite good because my lines above here, I find some products are difficult to use because it's so near my lip and it does sort of make my lip feel like it's tingling or it's reacting or something like that. So I'm, I'm very careful about the products that I use around my lip area. But I thought, well, I'm going to try this because it does say sensitive skin. I did try it and it was fine. I didn't get any reaction whatsoever. So I'm really pleased that I finally got a sort of product that I feel comfortable with using around my mouth. Now, it is something that I personally will be using at night time rather than in the daytime. But I'm really looking forward to seeing how it goes. And I think it did say seven days, didn't it, that you can, that the lines are reduced. So we'll see because I reckon there's a good seven days worth of product in there exciting times okay if it works i'll be going off to buy some i promise the next item is now this is another marks and spencer um one and it's formula sleep and replenish sleep cream this is 15 mils. They sell 50 mils for £22.50, so I'm guessing this is around £7-ish. And they say, our ultimate sleep cream is like eight hours of sleep in a jar. It's formulated to work in harmony with your body's natural circadian move rhythm to tackle dryness, dullness and deep wrinkles overnight. Ingredients include Olea Vitae, a plant-based oil to support your skin cells, plus now, I'm not sure how to say this, Matrix YL3000, a powerful peptide blend that helps to smooth wrinkles and improve tone and elasticity. You'll also find marula oil for its skin-maintaining fatty acids and antioxidant niacinamide, which is known for its anti-aging properties. From your first use, you'll wake up to skin that feels nourished and rejuvenated with visibly improved smoothness. Apparently they used to sell this product before and it was known as the absolute ultimate sleep cream. So this is what the packaging looks like and it is lovely. I do like Marks and Spencer's packaging. They're, they've always been pretty good at that sort of thing. Quite stylish looking, I think. A uh, little shiny lid. I don't want to sort of get the shine on you too much. But this is a lovely thing. And if you think about the price of this, so... If you got 50 mils of this, it's £22.50, which for a night cream is pretty cheap, I think. Um, this is what it looks like inside. So it's quite a light night cream. It's quite lightweight feeling in terms of sun, but it's really luxurious when you blend it into your skin. It feels lovely going in. It feels really soothing and soft and lovely. Now, the smell on it as well is gorgeous. It doesn't, I wouldn't say it smells nighttime smells. It smells quite floral yet fruity at the same time. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely smell. So I have used it, funnily enough. Um, do you know what? Yeah, I woke up, I went to bed with my skin feeling nice and soft and lovely with it on. And I woke up with my skin feeling lovely and soft. So it's a really good thing. I like it a lot. And I like the price tag particularly. I think that's really, really good. Okay, the next item is by Clinique. So we get a non-Marks and Spencers brand now. And this is their Moisture Surge. It's 15 mils, so you can get 30 mils from the Clinique website for £25. So this is probably worth around £13. 
and they say many things can dehydrate your skin including wind and weather changes this oil-free gel cream moisturizer with hyaluronic acid and aloe bioferment sinks into skin for deep lasting hydration and they say it's an advanced hydrator with auto replenishing technology that helps skin create its own internal water source to continually rehydrate itself and then it locks in moisture for a plump healthy looking glow and you can use this morning and night on clean skin i've had this before and it is one of my favorite moisturizers it is one i use in the daytime um mainly because it goes really really well under makeup i've got it on today that's what it looks like i'm going to show you i've got one open so i can let's see i haven't opened this one yet so no my hands are too slippy. I'll show you the one I've already got open, although there's not a great deal left in it. So, you <laughs> go as you can see, quite pleased to get another one. This is what it looks like. Now, this stuff is amazing. Um, you put it on your face and it, it has a cooling effect as well, which is always useful, I think, at my time of life. Um, but it blends in beautifully it feels so lovely now it says it's oil free doesn't it but there's there's almost like an oiliness to it in a in a different kind of way but it's really I think it's because it's so hydrating feeling it does feel like you're pouring water on yourself that sounds ridiculous I kind of know what I mean that I feels like it's really really hydrating as soon as you put it on your face um, but I love it. I've had it before. As I say, it's an amazing thing. I'm very, very happy. It's one of my favourite moisturisers to use. And it goes really well under makeup. Look, you can't see. But I can feel it feels really smooth and lovely as well. Love that product. Okay, and I think that'll go well with the night cream as well. The two of them together. The night cream left my face feeling really smooth this morning. And then using that as well, my face felt great. Okay. The next item is, I'm rambling again, sorry, is, and I got all my words wrong and I was thinking I'm saying exactly the wrong thing, but I know what I meant. Basically, it feels hydrating and refreshing. That's what I wanted to get across. Okay, the next product is by Nukes and it's their scented floral shower gel. This is 30 mils and 200 mils is available on the MS website for £13. So this is probably only worth about two or three pounds. And they say addictively soft with its delicate botanical origin cleansing base infused with sweet almond oil this shower gel cleanses the skin very gently its rich texture with a subtle floral scent blending fresh notes of grapefruit magnolia and musk transforms your shower into a daily ultra sensual experience sensorial i nearly said something else then into a daily ultra sensorial experience it has a botanical origin cleansing base derived from coconut and wheat to remove impurities whilst preserving the hydrolipid, lipidic, hydrolipidic film. In addition, sweet almond oil and botanical origin glycerin protect the skin from dryness. So I've had the oil in this fragrance before. It is a little bit too floral for me, the oil, but this isn't quite so strong, I don't think. And I've used it in the shower today. Um, I won't pour it out because it is gel and it means I'll just have to pause and go and wash my hands again. But basically, it's a shower gel. Do you know what? I will. I might as well. It doesn't make much difference, does it, if I pause it? Um, I think I've only used one wash of it but because there's not a lot there. I think it's only probably going to do about two showers. So that's what it looks like. It smells really quite nice. Floral, but there is an element of, um, is it the grapefruit? I think I can smell. There's definitely a fruity kind of element in there as well. So it says grapefruit as well. Yeah, it's kind of nice, light, refreshing. The lather wasn't the best in the world. It did lather up, but it's not the most luxurious lather I've ever tried. But it's nice enough and it smells lovely. Okay, probably not my favourite smell, but it's nice enough. Okay, the next item. Gosh, I'm rambling again. Stop rambling. Stop it. Okay, the next item is a Marks and Spencer brand. And it's by Autograph and it's their Luminosity Radiant Skin Primer. 
This is 15 mils and 30 mils is available on their website for £12.50. So this is probably worth between six and seven pounds. And they say, let your beauty shine with this radiant primer, helping your makeup stay on throughout the day and evening while also illuminating your skin. The brightening formula works with added vitamin C to help really help your skin glow, creating a great base for your makeup. So I've used this today and it is under my makeup. It did have a little bit of sheen to it, but I'm not sure that that's still there. It could well be. I'll put it on this hand because my other one is absolutely covered with stuff. So that's what it looks like. It's just a cream sort of formula. And then let's rub it in and see if you can see the sheen that it leaves. So there you go. You can see there is a sheen there. It's quite a light one, but it's really quite nice. There's no particular smell to it. It's the sort of one I would probably wear on a non-makeup day, actually, and just wear over my moisturiser just to give my skin that sort of little bit of a glow. OK, the next item is... Oh, I think this is the last one. That went quicker than I expected. OK, so this one came wrapped in tissue paper. I always like when things are wrapped in tissue paper, isn't it? Silly really, but it's like one of my little likes that came all wrapped in tissue paper. And it's one of my favourite things as well, which is a perfume. Now it is a Marks and Spencer one, but I particularly do like their perfumes. I've had a fair few of them in the past. And this one is by Autograph and it's the Riviera Neroli Eau de Parfum. It's 30 mils and you can get this size for £9.50. The energising top notes of this Riviera Neroli perfume from Autograph range will brighten up any day. It's created with layering in mind so it can be worn alone or with other scents in the range, allowing you to create your own unique fragrance. And the top notes of this are bergamot, grapefruit, pettigrain, middle notes Neroli and jasmine and the base notes of vanilla and musk. So I put this on earlier today, probably about six hours ago something like that and I can still smell it really well now if you think about the price of this product um, you would expect this, the smell of that fragrance to have sort of dissolved dissipated by now but it's still there and quite strong it's a lovely smelling thing actually the initial smell to me was a little bit too sweet a little bit sugary wasn't sure whether I was going to like it but because there's a like a fruit kicking into it as well it just becomes a really nice smell now it does say grapefruit for me I get a kind of an orangey hit to it which is always good and I do get the vanilla element too it's a really nice gentle daytime fragrance and I really like that now with Marks and Spencer in the past they've done little discovery things of their perfumes I don't know whether they do it in this range I was meant to find out before I did the video but I've had them before where you get little samples of each of the perfumes in a range and you can try them out and I've done that before with them and bought perfumes as a result so that's a, something to look out for they're, they're only about five pounds for these little sample sets so they are worth having a go but that's a really nice one to try Okay, what do you think of the box? I think that is an amazing box. An amazing box. For the price as well. I mean, even if I got it for the £25, I'd be happy with that. But if you are a Sparks cold card holder and you've still got the 20% um, beauty discount, you can get it for £20, which is amazing value. Let's go through it. We've got the cleansing butter, which is lovely. Really like that. You saw how luxurious that was on the skin. And in combination with the Eve Long one as well, they did a fabulous job getting rid of the makeup and leaving my skin feeling really lovely and soft. Then we had the um, serum. So we had the Lumen one, which is beautiful. Honestly, it's so lovely when it goes into the skin and it just becomes this like a, not a TARDIS, that's when you go into the, the box and it's bigger, but it's kind of like that expanded more than you expected it to. Um, can't be what the comparison would be there. Then you have the REN bio retinoid um, product, which I think it's going to hopefully work wonders for around my mouth, which would be amazing. 
Then we have the night cream, which I think is a lovely thing and did a great, great job for a really affordable price. We have the Clinique Moisture Surge, which is one of my favourites. And just if you've never tried that before, get your box just to try that because it feels amazing on your skin. Then we have the, um, the Nukes Shower Gel, which it's lovely. It smells really nice. It's possibly not my favourite smell in the world, but it's a nice product to try. Um, then we have the primer, which is great. Again, not probably not going to be my favourite primer in the world, but it's nice enough and it's a good one to wear on a non-makeup day when you just want a little bit of a glow to your face. And finally, we have the perfume, which is surprisingly very, very lovely. So it still smells amazing. OK, so I really, really, really like that box. I think it's a good one to have and it's one of the more affordable ones out there at the moment, the one-offs, so it's worth having a little look at. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video um, and I hope you come back for some more very, very soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week sending you loads of positive energy. Take care. Bye bye.